I'm going to show you how you can use Resolver 1's Run Workbook function to reduce duplication across your spreadsheets, and also how to perform one analysis multiple times with a range of different assumptions. Here we have an implementation of the Black-Scholes options pricing model. We can change the values of the current stock price, the exercise price, the risk-free interest rate, duration of the option, and the volatility of the stock market. We then calculate D1 and D2 and use the result to calculate C, which is the fair value of the European call. If you'd like more background on the Black Shoals model, see Wikipedia. Here we can see that our option is priced at 84 pence when our stock has a current price of 49 pounds. If we change the value of the current stock price to 60 pounds, the call price rises to 6 pounds 88. Let's have a look at the calculations. The calculation for D1 refers to variables like S and X. Resolver 1 knows that the value for S comes from cell C2 of the calculator sheet via the Edit Names dialog. D2 is calculated using the result for D1, Sigma, and the square root built-in function applied to T. The fair value is calculated using several variables, the exponent function, and a call to N, which is the standard normal cumulative distribution function. You can see that these are non-trivial formulae, so you probably want the sheet to be maintained by only one person, and you want the debugged version to be shared by the users. You definitely don't want buggy copies of the spreadsheet being passed around, with different people's pricing models using different versions. Before we look at the next workbook, remember that we calculate the fair value for the option by using named variables like S, X, Sigma, R and T. This workbook lets us value our derivatives portfolio. Each row contains the input values for the Black-Scholes calculations and a resulting fair value. Here we have a set of eight positions that we're tracking. The fair value is calculated by calling the previous Black-Scholes workbook, passing in the row's input values and extracting the fair value. The technique is similar to calling a function or method from a regular programming language. If we change one of the inputs, we see Black-Scholes that are result being called for each row, and new fair values are calculated. First, we call the run workbook function and tell it which workbook to call. Next, we pass in the values for S, X, Sigma, R and T. We get a workbook pass back, and we extract C, which is the fair value. Cell F7 then takes on the value of C. Resolver Systems has documentation on the wrong workbook function if you want to read more. The Black Shoals the Tara Cell workbook could be stored on a shared, secure network computer. It would probably be under source code control, so it couldn't be changed by mistake, and all the users could share this file directly over the network. If the file is updated, then everyone references the new version, and you don't have to worry about buggy copies floating around people's hard drives. Let's leave the Black Shoals model behind and instead take a look at a portfolio of shares that we're managing. We have a selection of long and short positions, and we track the current value of these positions. We also track the beta, which is a measure of correlation between this stock and the market. This beta of 1.3 means that for a 100% move in the market, this stock moves by 130%. Betas can be positive or negative. You can learn about beta at Wikipedia. We're also tracking projected prices for our stocks, and from there we can project the total value of the portfolio. On the dashboard, we can experiment with different projections for the market index, and from there calculate the projected value for all our positions. If we think that the market is going to drop to 1,000 points, then our positions on the portfolio sheet are recalculated, and our projected dollar value is shown as $204 million. Now, what if we have a range of projections to consider? Here we have a set of projections from 1,000 to 10,000 points marked from red to green. We can use the run workbook function to call Portfolio.RSL, passing in the required arguments and obtaining the new projected values and percentage changes. First we have the very negative change down to 1,000 points. Column B contains a Portfolio.RSL workbook, which is instantiated using run workbook. We've passed in the value 1,000 via the named argument Projected Index. To get the current USD value, we'll look at the cell in the dashboard in Portfolio.RSL that's referenced by value and current USD value. Here in B5, we're in the value column on the current USD value row. The value is 429 million. In B7, you can see that the projected value is 204 million. In D4, we see 204 million, which is extracted from the dashboard. Finally, E4 is just a simple percentage calculation. Each of the workbook instances or portfolio to Tara cell in this column are unique. They don't share any state. You don't need to prepare the workbook that you want to call. There aren't any DLLs to export. You just reference the .rsl file, set values, and extract results. So now you know how to use run workbook in two ways. Firstly, as a way of calling one spreadsheet from another like a function. And secondly, as a way of performing the same analysis with a range of different assumptions. 
get Resolver One, visit resolversystems.com and follow the download link. The documentation page contains links to tutorials and more advanced material to get you started.